What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some My Hero Academia. Today we're doing season six, episode seven. This one is called Disaster Walker. That is a horribly terrifying name. I am very excited, but also very nervous to get into this and continue this crazy ass fight with Tomura. Hopefully you guys are as excited as I am. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. And if you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. And if you do want to see the full uncut versions, check out that Patreon. Links are down below like always. My Hero Academia, Season 6, Episode 7, Disaster Walker. Let's do it. Starting off with the disaster helicopter, an aerial view of Jakku. I love the Star Wars references. Really reminds me of Kamino. We got All Might watching this time, whereas in Kamino, it was all of us watching All Might. Going from Deku's mom, Todoroki's sister, all the loved ones of the heroes valiantly fighting right now. Arteris. Mm mm mm. No hesitation. Immediately back into Endeavor and Shigaraki. And he... Ryukyu, the rest of them helping out right now. That's raw strength. I'm most nervous for Aizawa right now. He's trying to imitate the arm raise that Endeavor did, the number one hero. He's very specific with it. The fact that he was able to do this much damage, yet only specific damage, is crazy. Oh, they're all high ends too? I didn't. I mean the dark color, I guess I should have realized. So they're still adolescent high ends. They're all programmed versus those self sufficient five we saw earlier. Yeah, we're talking. I'm low key thinking global destruction with how scary this is. No, no. No, 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 sir. You can, no, I can't say you can kill whoever you want, because I don't want that either, but please do not touch Eraser Head, Shigaraki. You saying that makes me nervous, though, but that's what I love to hear. The one in the way is you. Even though he's in this much danger, he goes to protect his teacher because he's the GOAT! You think anyone's letting you touch Aizawa? Yes, that's true. While Aizawa's alive. Very valid asterisk there. Because the Gran Torino told him the thing about worst case scenario. Oh, isn't that a throwback? That's like episode... Five or six. This show would be immensely different without my boy Aizawa. And then Bakugo's following up right behind him. The armor piercing machine gun? Oh no. Good punch. Good punch, Endeavor. I'm loving the teamwork we're doing right now. It is all for one speaking through Shigaraki as like an avatar. Yeah, see? It's my power, my body. I need to know. So, he's saying thank you. Yeah, but I don't want to be you. I'm going to be my own person. I'm going to be Tomura. I'm going to be better than you. So much reminds me of the Sith from Star Wars. That's that's the Sith Lord's number one goal. That's why there is two. The apprentice will always surpass the master. This is my will. Oh my god. My man's putting out all the fucking force behind this punch. 
With Endeavor right behind him? Oh my god, he is so fast and strong. Was able to get past both of them, dodging both those hits. God damn it. <laughs> you must be smoking that good shit, Tomura. You think you can ignore Bakugo? <laughs> Literally what he says. Man, Studio Bones. I know we're getting blessed with a multitude multitude of great animated shows right now, but Studio Bones, you are blessing us. It seems like we're not doing anything to this guy, though. Oh my god, I got fucking goosebumps. Fucking hell, no, don't show Midnight. That means we're going back to Gigantomachia, and that's not a good sign. I don't want people to die. Why did he grab Mr. Compress? Oh, he gr grabbing all the League? Skeptic? How are we going to use Skeptic? Oh no, oh, talk about a mountainous duel right here, a mountainous 1v1. Man, imagine a giganto-sized sumo wrestling mash. It's literally what this is. He is straight shoving her down this mountain. So, the heroes don't know that the majority of the lieutenants are on Gigantomachia's back on the way towards Shigaraki. Edshot versus Redestro? I love this theme. This is specifically like for the uh, Redestro in the League, of, the League of Villains, right? Like, they only played this heavily during Season 5, but I really enjoy the song. Got Camwe Woods, Midnight. She is actually holding on for dear life. She is trying. That's just how little he even mattered to her. Or her, she mattered to him. He could have just at any time. Oh, the pheromones. It does work better on men, right? Is this going to work? Oh, Dabby, right there. Talk about a little surprise ambush. Ooh. Ooh. Damn it. That was a nice try, though. That was a nice try. Yeah, this is rough. This is really even still the start of shit hitting the fan. Oh, that's midnight. What are we going to have Momo make? I mean, yeah, using her quirk in specific ways is against the law. It's very regulated, but you got to do what you got to do. It's completely up to you. She's putting her faith in you. I got faith in you too, Momo, but I'm worried for Miss Midnight right now. Yeah. It's a lot going through your mind right now. This would be a very hard decision to make. Yeah. And you're on the spot. Okay. We're doing this. I love when Momo gets, when gets in command, takes charge. She's a quick thinker. Oh, <laughs> Mount Lady is a savage. So is Kim. <laughs> gotta find a joke when you can. So everyone's got their own anesthetics. Everyone's gonna be fighting. <laughs> Kaminari was one of the ones who was most nervous about this as well. I'm glad to see him. I got goosebumps right now. I really do, because I know how dangerous this is. I know how like scared you really would be. Oh my lord. This episode 
was so goddamn quick. I literally just started it. I'm so blurred. <laughs> that was one of the fastest episodes. Ah, God, they're getting faster and faster each week, which is not a good sign. I'm just getting more and more butt hurt. I have a super inspiring feeling, but also very dreadful feeling with the way and the vibes that this left off, especially with Midnight going through this injured as she is, Cam Wee Woods and Mount Lady pushing, like going beyond plus ultra, even in this horrible situation. I genuinely have a feeling we are gonna lose some heroes even more than we already have. I was so unbelievably nervous for Eraserhead this episode. It's not even funny. For a second there, I was preparing myself. I was like, I mean, Tomura does need to kill Eraser to be able to actually start going ham. But oh my God, was I not ready for it? I cannot, I could never be ready for that. Man, is this show fucking hitting me? And then I love like the crack literally in Tomura's face and it's, all for one talking and he's like smiling in Tartarus so it like really makes you feel really makes you think how much is passed on like is there an essence I mean obviously there's an essence of all for one still in Tomura but it's like he was like this I'm not you this is me you're you're you know like it's it gets in depth you know it's a little interesting to me and he's talking about little brother trying to claim all for one one for all all that jazz it's very interesting it is indeed the one thing that I'm very glad about how this arc is set up and the fact that Tomura is like the grand commander of villains, if that makes sense. Like Tomura to me feels like the Madara of My Hero Academia, but this doesn't feel like the end. Whereas, you know, the war arc in Naruto was the end. So like, I, I, are we going to kill Tomura or I, the thing that I'm saying, like TLDR, I'm, I'm ranting is that this is gonna be subverting my expectations no matter what because i genuinely have not a zero not a chance of a clue at how this is gonna end because i don't think we're gonna kill tomura but i don't think we're gonna be able to have this arc end in any sort of peaceful manner there's no talk no jutsu happening here but i don't think i really don't know i really have no idea but just know this is episode seven we still have 18 more episodes it blows my mind how much and they're all going to be like 30 seconds each because that's how fucking fast it feels like they go this was a banger though i gotta give a huge shout out to momo quick thinking uh organizing the troops getting everybody ready for this what could be a final stand even though i'm praying it's not we got dabby and the rest of the the lieutenants that i can think of the the quick ones on uh gigantomaki is back going towards shigaraki can i just make a quick point out so i know i said bones is blessing us in the middle of this episode that punch from endeavor the the whip from endeavor the there's like 17 high, oh my god endeavor was snapping i love Isaiah was saying i need to see my students grow up to be heroes like a, he, such a uh, such a good teacher i love the flashbacks season one Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.